Police superintendents across the interior vented their frustrations this year over the challenges they face dealing with repeat offenders, many of whom end up back out on the street shortly after their arrests. Following an October homicide, Clone RCMP Superintendent Kara Triance said the suspect in the killing had been arrested, but subsequently released without conditions after the Crown declined to immediately lay charges. I find that concerning, absolutely, because there's no conditions imposed on this individual, um, and yet I understand that my partners at the BC Prosecution Service are acting within the directives of their policies. The suspect, Billy Joe Bennett, was charged with second-degree murder more than seven weeks later, but the matter led Superintendent Triance to highlight a more widespread issue that other interior RCMP commanders have echoed. I have grave concerns about the limitations of our systems and the policies and directives in which we must uh, operate within. We have to work within the systems that we have uh, here in BC. Those systems include the Mental Health Act, the Criminal Code, and other policies and directives. And in um, all of these cases, I believe that we are approaching a precipice in our community's safety and in the confidence of our criminal justice system as these concurrent systems and their policies are breeding these frustrations. In November, Kelowna Mayor Colin Bazran spoke about his own concerns on the subject. We're also asking questions of our court system and the Crown um, because again, there's frustration that if somebody does do a crime and um, they are charged, um, are they even spending time in jail? If so, um, you know, what does that process look like in terms of getting them the help they need if they have mental health or addiction issues? So there's a number of questions that council is asking because it's pretty evident that what we're doing um, as a, a community, so that means all levels of government and, and society in general, is not working. Um, and that there has to be um, systemic change. Superintendent Triance pointed to the City of Kelowna's community safety plan as one solution that may help both repeat offenders who are suffering from their own mental health struggles, along with increasing the community's safety. I'm invested heavily in our community safety plan that the City of Kelowna has designed, which brings our systems together, the health system, the justice system, um, as well as uh, social development and other systems in our community to address these complex issues. Looking at outcomes that allow us to um, achieve these objectives in our community while people are uh, being released back into the community after repeated offenses. The plan remains under development and a completion date has been pushed from spring 2021 to spring of next year. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.